in a pH higher than pKa value of thing, then thing will exist in the protonated form. Ooh, we do not see that. One second, there we go. Spider. Okay. Fine. Now let's um let's just go with an example. Um, what if something has a Ka value of 10 to the negative 2, which means which means that its pKa, or better known as negative log uh, Ka, is 2. That means the pKa of this, whatever it is, in the, with, with this acid, is 2. Now, what does that mean? Let's really look back to the Ka value. Ka value, as we probably all know, is a ratio of uh, the products to the reactants. And when talking about an acid, <coughs> the products are usually the deprotonated form of the molecule. And we'll take an example, right? Let's have a acid, HA, plus an acid, oh, good old HA, plus, I just got this max, I'm not trying to use it exactly, H2O, there we go. And let's just say this is an aqueous, let's not forget that. This is liquid, uh, liquid, and this will equilibrate to its deprotonated. Uh, we'll have a H3O mm -mm -mm -mm. plus over here plus its conjugate base, which will be a minus, obviously. And this is an aqueous. And of course, this is also an aqueous. So what the Ka value is telling us, it's telling us the ratio of products over here to the ratio of reactants. Notice we're ignoring H2O because as we all know, in equilibrium, we ignore solids and liquids, or really anything that concentration is stable. Okay. Now, now that we have H three O plus and H and A minus, <clears throat> we can now use the Ka value to really understand what's going on here. And I'm telling you that the Ka value of this random acid is ten to the negative two, which is really telling us that. Let's just write a numerator and denominator. That this, the products, ooh, the products uh, over here, had to have the products. And I'm going to ignore the uh, aqueous sign because we know it has to be aqueous in this case. That the products. Mm -hmm, multiplied their concentrations, right? Over, over, here's your handy dandy line, over the concentration of our reactants, right? Will be, will be, we'll say equals 10 to the negative, to the negative two, which really means that for every one H3O times A minus we have, for every deprotonated form of the acid we have, we have 100 of the protonated. Meaning that there's a lot more of the protonated. Uh, of the, yeah, of the protonated, if I didn't say that enough times. Moving on. Now, if we introduce, oh, and obviously, let's just write here, pKa of 2, negative log. You just take the negative, uh, you remove the negative here, and you take the 2 there, pKa, bam, 2, beautiful. Now, 
Now, if we introduce this acid that has a strength of uh, Ka being negative 2, which, by the way, is a weak acid, right? Because our strong acids, gosh, our strong, our strong, strong acids will have a Ka greater than 1. Because what does that mean? If we have a Ka greater than 1, then the ratio of our products is greater. It, 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 I mean, the products in the numerator is greater than the reactants in the denominator. And if we have the numerator greater than the denominator, as we all know from our third grade fractions, it will be greater than 1. And if, say, the denominator was greater than the numerator, it will be less than 1. Okay, so strong acids will have a Ka greater than 1. And what does that translate over to pKa? Translate to, mm -mm -mm, translate to pKa. That would be, oh, I can't even so translate. Negative log of Ka, which will then be a negative value. Okay, so if it's in strong acids, the Ka is greater than 1, greater than 1, then therefore the pKa is a negative value. Right. But for weak acids, however, their Ka values is 1 or less, or 1 to the 10 to negative 14th, really. And their pKa values would be 0 to 14. Uh, very, very weak acids have a Ka value smaller than 10 to the negative 14. It's a very bad ratio. Therefore, their pKa is greater than 14 here. All right, that was a side. And now, going back, sorry for that, but going back, if we introduce this acid, this HA acid, into an environment that has a, let's say, high pH, then why would it exist in its deprotonated form? Why would it go to its products? And that is actually pretty simple. Um, what does a higher pH mean? A higher, yeah, that's right. A high pH signifies, I hope I can spell sig, yeah, signifies, yes. A high pH signifies an environment, yeah, yes. Signifies an environment that has a very little hydronium ions, right? The pH is high, therefore the pKa, I mean, well, not the pKa, if the pH is high, therefore there's very little hydronium ions. And let's just analyze that a little further. Example, example. If pH is 13, if pH is 13, then what is the concentration of hydronium ions? Right? Very simple. Since we said pKa is the negative log of Ka. pH is the result of the negative log of, oh lord, log of hydronium. Therefore, uh, yeah, yeah. Therefore, a constant. 
concentration concentration of hydronium ions of 10 to the negative 13 will result in a pH of 13. PS 10 to the negative 13 is a tiny number. Not a lot. All right, what does that say? Now, if we introduce, let's say, this acid, which, by the way, has a equilibrium of 10 to the negative 2. It likes to dissociate. I mean, fairly, fairly well. Well, if we introduce it to an environment of a pH of 13, meaning the hydronium ions are really, really, really low, therefore, the reaction, according to Le Chatelier's principle, will try to make mm -hmm. more hydronium ions, right? If there's very low, if this reaction is introduced to an environment with very low hydronium ions, then according to Le Chatelier's principle, this guy, this whole equation, well, mm, wrong way, will move to the right to relieve the stress and what it will moving it to the right to do <clears throat> it will try to increase this concentration and of course thereby will increase let's see if I can make another arrow there we go increase that concentration it's deprotonated form deprotonated obviously means without that Hydrogen depronated, right? And that is why if we introduce a reaction or an acid that has a pKa value that is less than the pH of the environment, then the acid will exist in its deprotonated form because the reaction will move to the right to try to relieve the stress caused by a decrease in hydronium ions relative to its own equilibrium, 10 to negative 2, and thereby also increasing the depronated state of that ion. I hope this helped, and um, if it didn't, I'm sorry, I'm still trying, and this is really just to help me grab a better understanding and if it helped you at the same time then I'm happy